Before the shadow swings into action, I'd like to give a friendly warning to every motorist. Get rid of unsafe tires before they get rid of you. Last year, Treadbare tires endangered the lives of thousands. A wet, slippery pavement, you have to stop fast, but away skids the car, completely out of control. Don't let this happen. Have your car equipped with those new road-drying Goodrich Silvertown tires. The windshield wiper action of the amazing Silvertown Lifesaver Tread automatically sweeps wet roads dry. So dry that you can light a match on the track it leaves. No wonder this new kind of tire gives you the quickest non-skid stop you've ever had. For safety tomorrow, get Silvertown today. Shadow, whose life is devoted to protecting the innocent, is in reality Lamont Cranston, wealthy young bachelor, amateur criminologist, master of other people's minds. Only his friend and companion, the lovely Margot Lane, knows that Cranston and the Shadow are one and the same. Today's story, The Isle of Fear. Certainly glad you persuaded Miss Lane and me to leave the cruise ship at Porto Prince. Spend a few days here on your plantation. I don't know when I've had such a wonderful dinner. It's been grand, Monsieur Dupre, and I had no idea Haiti was so beautiful. And I am delighted you could break your Caribbean cruise and allow me to return the hospitality you both extended me when I visited New York. I must apologize for the storm, Mademoiselle Lane. May I offer you more wine, Monsieur Constant? Thank you. By the way, Monsieur Dupre. Yes? While we were driving up from Port-au-Prince, I thought I heard drums in the hills. Drums strangely like the old drums of African voodoo. You did, monsieur. I had hoped you had not noticed. But why, monsieur Dupre? Mademoiselle, Haiti is beautiful. But its people, in spite of centuries of French, English, and American influence, in spite of the untiring efforts of educators and ceaseless devotion of ministers and priests, remain at heart African. Their bodies are free, but their minds remain the slaves of voodoo. But I thought voodooism had been stamped out of the West Indies. Voodoo does not die, Monsieur Cranston. Its followers may think they have forgotten the old gods. They may wear civilized clothes, go to school and to the many Christian churches of the island. But voodoo is always there, in their primitive minds and souls, waiting. When was the last outbreak? Only ten years ago, Mademoiselle Margot. It was on a night very much like this. For days, the drums had been calling from the hills, where, in the grottoes of Saint Souci, the mad Prince Henry was paying his customary visit to Kaon, the high priest of Voodoo. Kaon needed human victims for his ritual of the blood moon. And on this. Kaon! Kaon! The Prince Henry pretender! Has come to the grotto of Saint Souci. What does he want? This fool who thinks the blood of the Emperor Henry Christophe courses his shriveled veins. He comes to offer us victims for the festival of the Blood Moon, children of his political enemies. Let him enter. Enter, Prince Henry. Kaon, great priest of voodoo, will hear you. Kaon, in three days the festival of the Blood Moon begins. Where are your victims, Kaon? Where are the blood sacrifices you must offer the snake gods of voodoo? They will be found, Prince Henry. You are sure, Kaon? Yes. I know you have come, as always, to offer me the families of your enemies. And your enemies are many. I, like the trees of the jungle and the stalks of cane in the valley of San Susi, you will find the sacrifices for me, Prince Henry. You will find them. Hush, my baby, hush. Okay, on the ugly, we'll take you away to the grotto. Be quiet, woman. Oh. In two days, the festival begins, and no one knows who Kaon shall choose. <gasps> who is there? Open your door. Give me that child. No. No. Here is no. this child. Kaon has chosen. Francois, you read me, La 
last month's report of shipment from the plantation warehouse. Yes, monsieur. Uh, 200 casks of rum, 40,000 pounds of raw sugar, 20... Ta- master, master, ah. the mistress. Can has taken her, taken her to the hills of San Susi. Nisi Dominus Rusta, Dicit Patribus Sit Deus Nobus. Merciful God, in thy power and wisdom, give me strength against the powers of evil. Help me, O Lord, to protect my innocent flock. Lead the erring from the paths to the hills, where the devil's disciples of voodoo consecrate their worship of heathen gods with human blood. Stand back, priest! Stand back, man is chosen! Nay, thou shalt take no child from this house of God. Stand back, priest! Stand back! Nay! Nay! Wait! Make a priest of fire! May the old may rejoice! That's Mademoiselle Lane and Mr. Cranston. Happened only ten years ago. It was very sad. Oh, how horrible, Monsieur Dupre. Did the voodoo priests actually murder those children and that planter's wife? They and many more were sacrificed to the snake gods of voodoo, Mademoiselle Lane. Oh, how horrible. Can't the authorities do anything? They are helpless, Monsieur Cranston. Do you hear that drum? It is sundown. They are starting again. It may mean nothing. The drums often beat in the hills. But we live in constant dread of another orgy of blood, such as we had ten years ago. There is something sinister about it. Unearthly. Quite, Mademoiselle Margot. To follow the sound of that drum would be to turn back the hands of time and civilization a thousand years. Mon père, ah. I've come to say good night. Well, good night, my son. Au but wait. Mademoiselle Lane, Monsieur Constant, this is my son. Ah. How do you do? Hello, well, how do you do, Mademoiselle Lane? I'm glad to know you, Monsieur Cranston. My father has spoken of you. You are staying a few days? Yes, only a few days. We must hurry back to New York. Oh, but you will be here tomorrow. The storm will clear and we can ride. I have a fine horse for you, Miss Lane. Oh, thank you, Juan. I'd love to ride with you. And good night, mademoiselle, monsieur. Until tomorrow. Good, good night, night, Juan. Good night, mon père. Good night, my son. You tell Francois to make sure the garden gates are locked and the door barred. Oui, mon père. Some more wine, Monsieur Cranston? No, thank you. Monsieur Dupre, yes. You spoke of those drums as if there were some particular significance. There is, Monsieur. The night of all nights. It is the eve of the festival of the Blood Moon. You, you mean voodoo? Yes, Mademoiselle. Voodoo is like a plague. For years it may lie dormant, but sooner or later the priests of voodoo recall their own, and they slip into the jungles like ghosts, and the drums. But surely there'll be no human sacrifices, not now. Voodoo does not change, Mademoiselle Margot. That is why my gates are locked, the doors barred. Ah, but come, my friend. You have not interrupted your short holiday in the Caribbean to listen to tales of horror and death. On the contrary, I'd like to get your first-hand opinion on the actual powers of these fanatic priests. Forgive me, Monsieur Cranston. I cannot speak of voodoo as an academic thing. It is too close. Has... Has this man, Kayon, ever chosen anyone from your plantation? Mademoiselle Margot, I think you will understand when I tell you that the planter's wife, who was taken into the hills of Saint Souci ten years ago tonight, was the mother of the boy you met a few moments ago. My son. Juan. Oh, forgive me. You could not know. Oh, forgive us, Monsieur Dupre. If we'd only stopped to oh, think. Please. It was I who first spoke of Voodoo. It is I who cannot forget, Kayon. Cannot rest until one day I find that murderous devil and kill him as he killed my beloved wife. The drums. Listen to them. Carrying a message into the hills. Another victim. Another human sacrifice to the snake gods of Budo. Monsieur Dupre, oh, Monsieur. 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 you are bleeding. They sprang upon me at the gates. One has been chosen. Oh, my son. Where is he? Kayon's men have taken him. To the grottoes of Sans Souci. Lamont! Oh. Lamont! Margot, you 
shouldn't be outside the gates. Any news of Juan? No. We've ridden all through the valleys the whole day, even into the hills. Where is Monsieur Dupre? In the hills. He wouldn't come back. Oh. He hopes to follow the signal fires after sundown, but I'm afraid it's madness. They'll kill him. Where are all the servants, Margot? Gone. The native quarters are deserted. Where have you been, Lamont? We've been everywhere. It's like riding through a land of the dead. I'm afraid it's hopeless, Margot. No, Lamont. There's one chance. One chance. What do you mean, Margot? About an hour ago, an old woman came out of the cane breaks and spoke to me. She said she would take me to see Cale in the Festival of the Blood Moon if I would give her my diamond ring. It's a trick to get you into the jungle. I know it's a trap, but I told her I'd meet her on the jungle trail an hour after sundown. Are you mad, Margot? But, Lamont, it's a chance, a slim chance of finding poor little Juan. What good would it do for you to find him, Margot? You'd only die with him in the hidden grottos of San Susi. I'll risk it to save Juan. I'll risk it if you'll come with me as the shadow. As the shadow? If the shadow could humble their priest, they'd listen to you. Let me meet the old woman in the jungle. Let the shadow follow us to the grottos. If you don't, poor Juan will be murdered just as they murdered his mother. Oh, please. Please, Lamont. It's madness, Margot. Sheer madness. But we'll try it. Lamont. Oh, this jungle, it's like a black pit. This is nothing, Margot. What lies ahead? Do you want to go back? More than anything in this world, Lamont, but we can't. I know. Be careful, Margot. The old woman may be near here. What are you going to do when we meet her? I'm going to make her fear you more than she fears Kaon. I'm going to... Shh. Quiet, Margo. (laughs) Don't be afraid, mademoiselle. All Gao will not hurt you. Give me the flashing white stone and I will show you things which no white woman has ever looked upon before and lived. Well, here. Here's the ring. Ah, even in the dark, it flashes like the fires of the blood moon, which comes soon to the hills. Hurry, follow me. You must not be late. <laughs> <gasps> Wait, Kyle. Wait. Ha! Who laughs? Who speaks? Ah, talk of a woman you have not come alone. I, I am alone, Guile. You lie. I heard the voice, the voice of a man. No, Guile. I'm alone. Alone, Guile. But in the darkness beside her walks a shadow. A shadow? Yes. A shadow stronger than the voodoo of Gaon, your master. That is a trick, a lie. For that you die. <gasps> Don't move, Guile. Don't raise that knife. Let it fall to the ground, Gaio. Uh, Your fingers cannot hold it. Cannot hold the knife. Let it fall to the ground. Mademoiselle. Mademoiselle, forgive. Uh, you are a priestess. A priestess of many forces. Ah, take back the ring. Forgive. Have mercy. Forgive. Get up, Gaio. Uh, Lead the way to the grotto of Keon. Yes. Go. Yes. Or you will stand forever like a stone image in the jungle. And the snake gods will burn your soul in the fires of the mountains. <laughs> Before the shadow's spine tingling adventure continues, I wonder if you realize, motorist, how speeding, cutting in and out of line, or driving too long without rest raised havoc with your nerves. The shadow knows. When your nerves get on edge, you can't think fast, can't stop fast. The man with raw nerves, a strained temper, is an accident maker. Give your nerves a rest. Relax when you drive. Yes, motorist. And if you want to get rid of skid jetters, equip your car with the new Goodrich Safety Silvertown tire. For then, you'll have the greatest skid protection ever offered. The protection of the lifesaver tread that sweeps wet roads so dry you can actually light a match on its track. Like a whole battery of windshield wipers, this tread sweeps water left and right, forces it out through the deep drainage grooves, makes a dry track for the rubber to grip, stops you quicker, safer on a wet pavement than you've ever stopped before. And at all times, whether roads are wet or dry, 
Silvertowns give you that other great life-saving feature, the famous Golden Ply Blowout Protection. The next time you buy tires, buy safety. Buy Silvertown. Look, look, Mademoiselle Lane. See, I have not disobeyed you. You hear the native chant? I have brought you to the grotto. Where is Kao? Where are the victims who are to be sacrificed to the snake god? Ah, come along the great ledge beyond the altar of sacrifice. Heong is there with the victims bound in chains. Oh, but wait, Mademoiselle, wait. Be careful, Gaio. You've been warned. Oh, Mademoiselle, you go alone. Do not make me take you to Kao. If your powers are not greater than his, he will slay you. Ah, uh, he will slay me. Oh, mercy, mademoiselle, mercy, no. Shadow. No. Shadow, what shall I do? Uh, mademoiselle, why don't the voice answer you, huh? Where is this power of the darkness? Has it fled in terror before the fires of chaos? It has. It has. Chaos. Say, oh, I have brought you another victim of yours to follow. Oh, <laughs> Lamont! Lamont! Steady, Margot. The time has come. Don't show fear or they'll kill you. Look, hey, oh, look, a beautiful woman with skin like ivory. Oh, 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 the devil! The hour has come. The old god await the proud blood of this woman. Hear me, O oh, Pisa, by all the powers of Caon, this flower shall be our first sacrifice. <laughs> Bring the woman to the altar. Let the mountain hear and the dead stones of the grotto see her die. Yeah, beware, Caon. That girl is not afraid. In the darkness of the jungle, I heard a voice, the voice of the shadows. Be still, old woman. Uh, Guile speaks the truth, Kao. Listen to her. She's right. I am not afraid of your voodoo god. I've come to guide one who is stronger than all your powers of voodoo. Where Kao walks, the earth is forever barren. Of the earth, the sea or sky. Sea or sky. Where is this voice, woman? Let Kaon hear it speak. Call it from the shadow. Let it fly its strength against Kaon, against the gods of Voodoo who cry for blood. <laughs> I am here, Kaon. The voice, Kaon. What? What white devil's magic have you brought to this hidden place, Gaio? <laughs> Take care, Kao. You have challenged me, and I am here. Show sign of fear, and the savage rebel will turn upon you like beasts of prey. Hey, Kao. Show thou art stronger than this voice of the shadow. Take the sword of Christophe and slay the girl. Her blood upon the altar's thorn will prove thy power. Take the sword. Look, her white throat gleams in the light of the fire. Cry! <laughs> yes. Prove your strength, Keon. Try to raise the sword of Christoph from the altar. Try to kill this girl who has come to take your victims from you. Strike her if you can. Save Like water from a broken gourd. A power as old as Voodoo, Keo. The 
power of the mind, the power white men call hypnosis, the power you call the evil eye. The evil eye. Liberty, Robert. Voice. Voice of the shadows. What angry god of voodoo sends you? I am more than a voice, Keon. I am here in the shadows, though you cannot see me, because I will it. Watch, Keon. I will prove to your murderous slaves the white man's magic is stronger than all your voodoo sorcery. Watch the sword of Christoph. I will raise the sword. You could not move. Watch! Keon, look! The sword rises from the rock, but no hand lifts it. Ah, what the people have seen. They no longer fear you. Kill the girl, or they will murder you. Murder me? Oh, voice of the shadows, who are you? I will answer your question, Keon. I am the shadow. And here is the answer to your challenge, Keon. The broken sword of Christoph. <laughs> believe you are a sorceress with greater powers than Keon. Pretend you are, Margo. Tell them the snake gods are angry and want no more human sacrifice. I'll try. I'll try. They're closing in on Keon. Goyo, the pretender prince. Don't try to stop them. Don't move, Margo. Watch and wait. To the old princess, to destroy Keon! I can't. You must. They've slain Kaon and his murderers. Now they'll turn to you. Command them to go back to the valleys, to their Christian churches. Tell them no harm must come to Juan Dupre or any of the prisoners, or this grotto will become a furnace of fire. They'll believe you now. Kaon is dead! Great white princess, let me sacrifice the girl and the blood moon grows pale in the sky beyond the mouth of the grotto. No! There must be no more human sacrifice. The old gods are sick of blood. They command you to go back to your homes. Back to the churches of the one God. Hear me! If harm comes to one of Kaon's victims, or to the boy one to pray, this grotto will be filled with fire. The rocks will melt. The earth will tremble. They're wavering, Margot. Quick, take the broken sword. Flash the great drum. It is the heart of Udo. Hurry, then they will obey you. Get out! Get out of the grotto! Voodoo is dead! The white priestess has destroyed the great drum! Drop me alive! Hold on to the altar. Hold on. Don't let them see you fall. Come on. Oh, come on. Well, Margot, it's goodbye to Haiti. In 12 hours, this plane will be in New York. How do you feel, priestess? <laughs> I don't think I'll ever be the same, Lamont. But I don't regret it, taking those children back to their parents and Juan back to his father. It was worth it even if I have nightmares for the rest of my life. And look, Margot, Capetian and the ruins of King Christoph's citadel. From here it looks like, like a tropical paradise. Maybe it will be, Lamont, now that the shadow has broken the spell of voodoo. No, Margot, no one man can dispel the power of voodoo. Education, the Christian churches are doing all in their power. But Dupre was right. Voodoo doesn't die. It merely slumbers. We have found once more that one of the greatest causes of human misery is ignorance.
Today's program is based on a story copyrighted by The Shadow Magazine. All the characters and all the places named are fictitious. Any similarity to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. The Shadow Magazine is now on sale at your local newsstand. Shadow knows. <laughs> <laughs> 